What's up guys? Ryan here and I have this awesome cinematic intro effect that I want to show you guys how to do. So I use this effect in my Dolomites video. If you guys haven't seen it yet, I'd highly recommend you go check it out. Before I get started, I started a website. I have a bunch of time lapses on there. I'm going to be throwing up some LUTs if you guys need those for your videos. So make sure you go check it out. I even have some free stock footage that you can use for your videos. So go check it out. Pretty cool site. Anyways, we're going to get into the video. I have this sequence of all the clips from my video. So if you do this effect, I would highly recommend you do it with a video you've already done where you have all the, the clips lined up. And then what you're going to do is you're going to select them all. So just drag and bring that mouse over. And then you're going to go over to where it says clip in the top left. And you're going to, going to go down to where it says nest. And hit that. And uh, what that's going to do is it's going to combine all those clips together into one giant clip. And whatever effects you add to that will be added to all of them. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit Command R, and I'm going to change the speed. So we'll try like a thousand. So I'm going to speed it up ten times, one thousand percent, and let's see what this looks like. All right, so it's looking pretty sick, super fast, um, just flying through the locations. Uh, I like it. It's a little bit slow, so I'm going to speed it up just a little more to fifteen hundred percent. Let's take a look at this. So I think this is about a good speed. So, I mean, the speed up tool is great, but, and this these shots look great, but it's a little bit choppy. So what I'm gonna do to smooth that out is I'm gonna go and hit Command R again, and where it says frame sampling, I'm gonna change that to frame blending. And what that does, is it's gonna blend all those clips together and make it a lot more smooth and cinematic. Let's take a look. And that just looks so much better. All the clips are moving like butter. And uh, I really like that. So, so now that we have motion blur on there, we're going to add another effect. So I'm going to go over to the square tool over here in the left. And I'm going to add a little mask to it. So I'm going to grab the corners. And I'm going to drag them out. If you hit the shift key while you're doing this, it'll keep the lines nice and straight. So I'm going to do both ends here. And then I'm going to go over to where it says mask feather and I'm going to increase this. What that's going to do, it's going to make the edges not so defined. I'm going to mask feather it to about 199. Um, just play around with that, see what looks best for you guys. And then this is what it looks like. Nice and epic. You could honestly just leave it like that if you want to. But if you even add one or more dramatic effect, we can expand this box by adding keyframes. So you hit that little stopwatch over there and it's going to create these little diamonds. And I'm going to go to the very end of the video and I'm going to bring up this box. So I'm just going to drag the lines up and I'll do the top, do the bottom. With those keyframes, I'm going to make sure they're out at the very end of the video but in the shot. So I'm just drag them over and then let's take a look at it now. All right, that looks super sick, super cinematic. Um, now just the last thing that I did is I'm going to go over to the effects tab, I'm going to type in Lumetri, and this is going to bring up all the LUTs within Adobe. And I'm going to scroll down to the monochrome LUTs, these are kind of like the black and white, and I'm just going to drag that on top of the clip, and then let's see what it looks like. So uh, this is a relatively easy effect, you just need that sequence, that original sequence, and it's great for an intro. Um, it really brings attention to your video. Anyways, it's Ryan. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you subscribe. I got a lot more epic projects coming out soon. Anyways, we'll see you later. It's only love.